How's it going, internets? I hope you're having a lovely day. It's that time again. It's time to get into some animation. It's time to get creative. Time to get that imagination all revved up. And it's time to get inspired. And today's inspiration comes from Gary Gianni. If you're not familiar with his work, check right over here. Uh, he did amazing work on Conan and Prince Valiant and just a beautiful illustrator. Uh, very in the vein, I would say, of uh, Wyeth for sure. Um, some great illustration great inking uh, great line work really uh, strong understanding of anatomy and posing and layout and composition uh, i really really love his work i love any of that uh, vintage comic book style work as well there's uh, one that i really want to show off yeah this was a great conan piece that he did and i thought that was uh very you can see some some influence of uh, almost a carry nord style in here, albeit uh, he came later, but I feel like that's he must have got some inspiration from this, or at least uh, maybe they're both harkening back to Frazetta as well. Either way, I, I really love his work and it's uh, really beautiful. So definitely check him out. I'll have a link down in the description below if you guys want to see more from him, which I really recommend that you do check out. But I wanted to share a couple of quotes with you guys from him as well. And he said, I really try to gain access through the imagination more than anything else. And he was talking about uh, setting mood and, and what he does to like prepare for, for his work. Um, and I think that's a great way to look at uh, anything, is to, to put your imagination first and then understanding any fundamentals and you know practices and different uh, approaches and methodology and have that stuff come second. But if you have that uh, unique personality or imagination or the way that you think that no one else does that needs to shine through first and then the rest all comes secondary and I thought that was a really interesting way to set that and then the other one uh, sometimes you can find too and if I do find two quotes I like to share them with you was uh, not just illustrating the text but trying to glean or mine some sort of underlying sense from the text and uh, I'll give you the example that he gave in the interview which was uh, Oh, now I can't think of it. Uh, Treasure Island, which I believe was Robert Louis Stevenson. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Hold on, I want to double check that. One second. Yeah, Robert Louis Stevenson. I didn't want to say the wrong thing there, but uh, the illustration work in, in that was, there was a picture where he, the main protagonist goes off to sail with the pirates, and there's a, a frame in there where he's going off and then you see the mother at home just crying in the doorway and there's an illustration in there but that's not really mentioned in the actual text but that was just a example of using the illustrator's mind and imagination and understanding of the text and adding more to it that wasn't there to begin with but that being said let's go ahead and get into some animation today we're going to be using the ultimate walker rig it's a free rig you can grab over on behance um, I will have a link to it in the information below, and I wanted to give a quick shout out to his name, Ubur, and I'm not going to even Yeti skin, I'm probably saying that wrong, but he just uploaded um, newer versions of a couple of these rigs, mainly the Ultimate Beefy and Ultimate Bony um, rig, which I really love those, so definitely check those out, and I'll have a link in the description below if you guys want to try this out, and what we'll be doing for the next little bit here if you're not familiar is we give ourselves 48 frames it's two seconds of animation i go off and find a rig that i've never used before it's a free resource for you guys to play around with and we kind of go from there this month we've been doing um jump vember which is uh, jump animation every day for the month of november uh, so definitely join on in if you guys are looking to uh push your animation a little bit further or try something different uh, trying to figure out different ways to do jumps every day is, is a fun challenge. Um, then what we'll be doing is uh, kind of hang out with me while I animate a little bit over the shoulder, a little bit of talking through the process or why I'm making decisions I want or um, just kind of hanging out with me throughout the process and hopefully you learn something or we talk about something that inspires you to go off and create your own uh, animations or whatever artistic medium you're using. And if you do, definitely share it back so I can give you some encouragement and uh, I'll help you guys along the way as well. So I'm rambling here, so let's get into uh, some animating. So what I was thinking for this one is we'll do kind of a kick out with the feet and then land 
wanted some more of like a cheerleader style um, jump. That's what I'm thinking for originally starting this. So let's get a little bit of a better pose if we can. And just do something a little more interesting there. Maybe I'll take a little push over here. Just something that's a little bit tweaked from much I want to keep it fairly neutral for a starting pose and we are using Autodesk Maya 2014 tonight it's going to save our file and don't forget whenever you're animating or doing any digital illustration or anything to save multiple versions and to save often just in case uh, you lose your file or you do something and you can't really step back you have an alternate file to go back to it's always a good process to have and anytime that I don't stick with doing that that usually I have some problems so I hope that you guys can learn from my silliness of not doing that each and every time let's do a little bit of raise up and then we'll go down and we're kind of centered over here to anticipate generic stuff here. Zoom the feet out. Um, right where you want to zoom. Just have to control there. Right to zoom and zoom out. play around with our timing we just want to get a generic um, kind of set for our animation so that we can work and tighten it up from there and I think I'll do a little like stutter step just so we can loop it a little bit better. And we'll keep this here for a little while longer. And we'll bring it back up. have to tighten everything up but I feel like that's a good place to start with so let's go ahead and save our file here and we'll probably extend the timeline here a little bit more so we can hold that for a little bit longer so it goes back up Get a uh, graph editor up here. I think we made about another 10 frames to work with here so we can do some folds a little better. So let's grab everything here. Feels like it's a little 
bit too posed to posy, so I want to blend that a little bit more. Overshoot this a little more.
passes. Okay, now I'll start getting into the timing. Yeah. This one on the floor, about two frames before. And it's giving us a minute and a half. So let me hold that a little bit more. Just kind of looking at the timing right now. Let's get ourselves a couple more frames of giving here. A couple more frames of giving here.
this needs to be about one frame shorter, maybe two frames shorter. There we go.
let's keep it planted for one more frame. Let's have it go up and out. it a little bit different for this one in order to add some variation we went on an up and out arc so it lifted up and it kicked out and now let's go to Let's do some rotate X to go down. Make sure, see, got some jumbly stuff, so we gotta clean that up. And yes, jumbly stuff is the correct term, in case you're wondering.
approached each leg a little bit differently so that they're not completely mimicking each other. Let's go with Silver for Vile here. Let's do a little bit of Let's do a little bit of toe drag here. What about left? Okay. And that's just that kind of resettling on that foot here. That's not good. That looks good. Okay, that's a little better. Let's go 
Let's go ahead and do a couple more frames here. And yeah. this up for a while longer, but I think it works for now. Let's, let's take a look back at where we started. We were looking at uh, Gary Gianni, and he said, I really try to gain access through the imagination more than anything else. And I think that's um, a great starting point for any sort of creative endeavor, is to put the imagination and the things that make you uniquely you and your particular voice or your particular thought processes or the things that you've experienced and all that stuff that's unique to you that no one else has and only it's your perspective and put that first and then let all the rest of the you know, knowledge and experience and all that stuff inform that imagination and that voice because otherwise I mean uh, the best thing you're going to do is be a really good copy of someone else so you want to put that stuff that's uniquely you forward and then the other one was not just illustrating the text but trying to glean or mine some sort of underlying sense from the text and I think um, for illustration as well or any project that's more of a collaborative project is to uh, you know definitely listen and understand and read as much as you can about a project before you really step into it and then once you do try and add that stuff that harkens back to the original point that's you know uniquely your perspective your thoughts that that weren't necessarily mentioned in there they don't take away from a project but add an extra level to it or an extra um, thing that maybe wasn't thought of before and that'll make your stuff stand out um, far above everyone else so that being said thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing you guys are amazing i love you tons if you're watching this you guys are the creative future and i totally believe in you so keep on going every day um, don't forget if you enjoyed something uh, through this let me know in the comments below if you disagreed or you would have done it a different way let me know as well um, and, and share back with anything you guys are creating so i can give you some encouragement and some thumbs up as well uh, so that being said i guess that'll do it for today another day down for jump vendor and uh we will see you for some more animation tomorrow